Hey y'all, welcome to Jonathan Dickinson State Park in Hope Sound, Florida. The locals call it Hope Sound. A lot of people will say Hobie Sound because of the Indians that were in this area, but most of the locals call it Hope Sound. So welcome to Jonathan Dickinson State Park. Stay tuned, we're gonna show you all the different campsites, um, all the fun activities and the rentals and all the good things that you can do at Jonathan Dickinson State Park. Welcome to Hope Sound, Florida. This is Jonathan Dickinson State Park. It's actually one of my favorite state parks. So much to do here. It's beautiful and safe. You can let your kids run around and explore. So I'm gonna show you campsites and all the recreational activities here. So this is a typical campsite at the Pine Grove section of the campground. Not a lot of big tree coverage. It does get hot out here, but they do have electric, sewer, water, everything you need here. And the sites are kind of big, so, and they try to make them private. You can see the next site is right there. Just happens to be two empty sites next to each other, which is it pretty common in the spring and the winter time because they fill up quick here. A lot of seasonal people come down here and camp for quite a while. Plus the weather's nice right now. road biking trail you can see people out there going through the trails uh, this is Jonathan Dickinson State Park one of my favorite state parks it's always well maintained and beautiful it gets hot here so plenty of water sunshade and what are you gonna do right now Right now, I am going to climb um, 86 feet above sea level to the, on top of this ancient sand dune behind me. If you climb up these stairs, you'll be able to see the entire park and also across the street, you can get a beautiful view of the Atlantic Ocean. Train tracks go right through the center of the park. I don't ever remember hearing them very often, but there's one right now. Hey y'all, we made it. We are at the top. The fat guy didn't die. <laughs> well, anyway, it's beautiful up here. Gorgeous views. We're gonna stay up here a little while longer and enjoy it. And then we're gonna get to the rest of the park. Woo, there goes the train y'all. Nice little breeze up here. You can probably hear it. Beautiful, this goes on for miles. The old part of the park right there, the Indian River, and then Hutchison Island behind it, and then that is the Atlantic Ocean. It's a walk, but it's a nice walk. There's the 
the truck and the boat down there because you know I got to bring the truck and the boat beautiful it is a beautiful park it's really well kept nice place while we're coming down here guys I wanted to show you this and you're like what that zoom in on that one mm -hmm. that's at the end of the park on the south side pretty interesting stuff Check out, get to know the Florida scrub jay. The only bird exclusively to be found in Florida. You'll see them hopping around here. There's lots of them floating around the area. So there's all kinds of stuff like this, y'all. Now, now what that stuff is, is there, this is actually a military camp called Camp Murphy back in the day. It was around World War II and they did a lot of training and a lot of military activity here on this whole area. So you'll find remnants of this all over the park. Here it is, y'all. A little bit about Camp Murphy, like we were talking about. This is like a radar training station. They did a lot of different stuff here. Hey, look, there I am. Mountain biking, y'all. There's a whole bunch. We don't have any mountains, but we sure got a lot of biking, and it is super popular here, as you can see. People everywhere. It's a great activity out here. Jonathan Dickinson, everybody loves to come down here and do it. The tracks go right through the park. burns y'all they really go out of their way to manage the uh the woods here to keep them healthy so this is the beginning of one of the paved trails that they have here this is a great family friendly little bike trail senior friendly it's just relaxing safe and beautiful and if the kids want to get a little crazy with it there are some little off-road shoots through the sand you can try to get stuck in let's go ahead and take one of these off-road shoots through the sand now my bike is not a mountain bike it's probably not a trip for this and we may get stuck it's super fun you can see how your kids or even us big kids would enjoy this and they do have full trails like this Side, side of the park. We're getting to the Riverside Campground. See, here's the uh, cabins that you can rent on property. They have very nice cabins here. Well maintained. This park is kept up very nice. So here's some of the cabins. They got uh, nice cabins on park. kept well maintained beautiful park cabin rentals two campgrounds one riverside one not the riverside campground does not have sore you have to go to a dump station this is an ada accessible one they have a few or at least one on property at all the campgrounds So this is one of the cabins at Jonathan Dickinson State Park. They're like 90 bucks a night. Um, historically, cabins in Florida are really well maintained and kept. I've never stayed in one. Let's see if we can get a peek what's going on in here. Side, that's the educational center. 
it's early so it's not busy but it's actually great you got to come check it out we'll go inside there also it's a beautiful place and they do a great job yo so i went to go into nature center which i've been in a ton of times and it is awesome they do a great job but right there it's closed because of you know the usual covid19 anyway when it does open you all should check it out um they put some material out for everybody but uh it's a great education center they got a lot of cool stuff and history and tell you about the place and it is what it is so no education center for us today but i do encourage you to call ahead and see if it is open and definitely check it out when you're here because it is very good so everything in this place is connected by trails there's like a cheeky hut it's the old thatch roofing they used uh, indians used for construction with uh, palm fronds or palmettos uh, it's one of the pavilions here and you can go between everything with these trails Looks like we got some wild Florida blueberries. So as you see, kayaking and fishing are very popular here. Beautiful river. This is like the congested area right by the park, but there's a lot of places you can go and around to. There's the area over here where everybody launches their kayaks. It used to be a swimming hole, but it doesn't look like they allow you to swim anymore. I'm not sure. You might want to check with the park rangers. And then that way is the way to Trapper Nelson's. There's the river cruises, and that's where you can rent boats and stuff over there and kayaks. Beautiful area. Fishing's pretty good. A lot of snook, stuff like that. To go swimming right here all the time when we were younger. That seems to be their answer at your own risk. It was always marketed as the swimming hole, but doesn't look like they're showing it that way anymore but it seems like you can still swim if you want to. But there are definitely alligators in this water, so <laughs> advise the sign at your own risk. All right, y'all, I am parked here on the grass, a sparse area intentionally, because every boat spot is taken up because there's people parking here who don't have boat trailers. And parking is very insufficient. I'm sure they don't want you on the grass, but I mean, that's a contractor. There's a boat. Not a boat, 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 not a boat. Taking up all the parking spots. I'm not sure what the deal is, but they need to work on that for sure. Coming up to Trapper Nelson's, it's the property of the wild man of the Laxahatchee River. It's closed because of COVID, 
it used to be open for tours. I guess it will be again at some point and the park rangers would give you a great tour and tell you all about the wild man of the Waxahachie. He used to capture alligators and wrestle them and make money by wrestling alligators. He grew his own food out here. He does have a very interesting story. You can see these are, I believe, the original dockages for the boats. Yep. And here it is. I told you some Floridians swim in water with alligators. Righty, mate. Today we're blowing after alligators, eh? You're going to blow crocs out here in the water. I don't see we'll any. We'll find a little Sheila. Give her a little rub, eh? Come on, darling. You're not Australian. I need my sunnies. You do need some sunglasses. It is bright. Quiet, y'all. No, you want to be loud. That's what scares them away. We're after crocs. a ninja, a ninja in the water. Huh? You're like a ninja out there. Ninja. Shelf outdoors goes in the water. No, there's something over there. 